all right hello everyone welcome back so in, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Visio volume license to computers that already have office click to run install so if I go into programs and features as you can see here I have office 365 pro plus and if I'm going to run the, the Visio volume license or the MSI version, I will get an error. The error will look something like this. So the workaround is you need to follow the Microsoft procedure here. It says that on this website, on this link, it says that you have to download the latest. ODT uh, file or folder, I'm sorry, ODT tool. So you go here and click on download the most current version. Click on download, save, can open up the folder. I'm going to run it by double click on it. accept the license I'm going to put it on my C drive I'm going to call it Visio highlight Visio and click OK file extracted successfully let's go to the C drive and then go to Visio there's the um, config file and setup and setup.exe. So what you need to do is um, go back here and go to click on back, click on back again. So you will need to copy this information here for the Visio, or just copy. Go back to this folder here, open up configuration XML, click on edit. I'm going to click new and paste it. Since I have 32-bit version of Office click to run, I'm going to change this to 32-bit. And that's it. I'm going to click on save as. Save it to the Visio folder. I'm just going to call this um, Visio dot XML. Yes. Close it out. So there's a Visio XML. Now I'm going to download the um, the bit file for Visio. I'm going to the command prompt. Type in CMD. Change directory to Visio. I'm going to type in setup.exe slash download give a type in the config file name this is visio.xml hit enter so now it's downloading the visio installation files or the bit files it's going to take a few minutes i'm just going to pause the video and then come back to it when it's finished all right looks like the download has been completed i got the office folder here good properties so it's 2.116 gig now I'm going to install it. 
type in setup slash configured configured and then the Visio file Visio XML XML it should install Okay, it's installing. It's going to take a few minutes, maybe five minutes. For now, I'm just going to, I'm going to pause the recording. So basically, you're going to do the same thing for project. I'm going to use the same config file, but I'm going to change the project ID. Gonna save as Gonna call this project. I can save. So I'm, go I'm gonna need the setup.exe for project. I'm gonna copy and then go to project. I'm gonna paste it. Open this up. So for project, you're just going to copy the name here, Project Professional. I'm going to paste it here. I need the PID key, copy, and then I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to click save. That's it. So that's the, um, the project files. Let's see if it's finished yet. I look like it's halfway done. I'm going to pause the video again. I mean, pause the recording. All right, look like the installation has been completed. Successfully. I'm going to close this out. Let's go to programs and features. There it is, VCO Professional. Let's open it up. Oops, VCO. This is VCO.
it's taking a long time to launch. My virtual machine is really slow. I got not enough memory. All right, so there it is. It's all working. Thank you for watching. So that's how you install Visio Volume License or the MSI version onto machine that already have Office 365 Click to Run versions. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'd be glad to answer if I could answer the questions for you. Thank you very much.